Oh, I'm finally off on my camping trip with my daughter and grandkid twins, boy and girl. This should be fun. Uh, they're going to be in a cabin, I'm going to be in a campsite. Um, I might try and take the opportunity to show you some of my camping stuff and my setup. And just generally how beautiful it is where we're going. Don't stick around. Let's get going. a slightly scenic route to where we're going today and we're in Wardell and uh, my friend Brett who I, I met on my big trip and had been talking to for years Brett Snow he uh, used to live here and he now lives down uh, near Seal I forget the name of the town but, um, it was awesome to meet him occasionally I'll send him newspapers and stuff from up here because he really misses up here but anyway here we are, Brett. We're in uh, Wardell. Probably stop off for my usual photographic opportunity before I continue. And Brett's grandfather helped build that bridge, which is a fascinating lift span bridge that I featured in the first ever photograph of Falcon. Would you believe? The place I want is empty, that's good. When there's not many people around, that's good too. Alright, I've checked in. I'm going to go over to my site now and start setting up. And uh, campsites are checking 11, cabins checking 2. So, my daughter and the kids will be here in a couple of hours. Should give me time to set up. And that's where they're going to be, and that coming. Awesome. And they can wander over here and see me.
Here's a quick overview of my modal camping setup. I have a small 6x4 foot tarp which I set up under and across the tent so that the extra parts will create a floor under the awnings. Then I erect my companion Pro Hiker 2 man tent. Quick and easy, room for me and all the gear with the storage under the awnings on both sides and this tent has lasted many a trip. I have this X-Ped sim mat to sleep on. Very comfortable, easy to inflate and deflate but it makes this terrible farting noise against the floor of the tent every time you move. I finally got around this problem by putting a thin, very light foam mat under it. I have this Palm Vista sleeping bag, claims to be weighted to zero degrees, in reality only good to about maybe seven or eight degrees, fine for most of what I do. I've had this active and co inflatable pillow forever now and I find it very good. My Rocky Creek Designs chair and table are an absolute must. There are many similar ones out there, mostly the same, but I really like being able to buy this locally. There we are, ready for the first beer. I got this basic first aid kit in a local chemist. I really should check what's in it again and make sure there's everything I need. I think I did check just before my big trip last year. So that's it. Now, who was holding my beer? Alright, here's my first camping setup. Got a cold bag here. That's today's lunch, so that was just cold, not frozen. Butter, cold, not frozen. Frozen bacon, frozen bread. Frozen cooked vegetables. Uh, down there is a frozen tinsel, there's an ice block at the bottom. This container has two eggs wrapped in uh, paper towels. So bacon and eggs for breakfast. This is for lunch now. Schnitzel and the vegetables is for dinner tonight. Now I've done that where that'll stay cold for two days, but I'm only doing one day's worth of food today. And then I'm gonna um, get some more food. So a simple setup, it works. Radio there, and that's me all packed up, ready to go home. Had a lovely weekend here. It was uh, very windy at times, but the wind was a westerly, so the beach was in the lee of the wind most of the time, and managed to go down there with the kids a few times, have a lot of fun. Uh, of an evening, met up with the, the neighbours here, who actually are also locals. A few drinks with them, a good yak, really nice people. So now I'm going to pop around, say goodbye to the twins and head home. the end of my little adventure for today and for the weekend. I hope you've enjoyed my camping trip, some of this beautiful country I live in. Stay safe and well everybody. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll catch you on the next one.